Now I understand how Kelly felt. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Carmen Monroe and I have nothing creative to say. Actually, I do. These lights are killing me. Sonic is a total beast of gaming, saving Sega and ultimately helping them become as big as they are today. He left Mario in the dust only to get nerfed when they went to the Olympics. Which brings me to today. Sure, Sonic has raised the characters in the Mario universe when they went to the Olympics, but what about other characters from other universes that he hasn't gotten a chance to meet yet? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the top 10 characters Sonic needs to race. Like, subscribe, bell, stay, you know the dealio daddio. Okay, just roll the intro. In a 10, Superman. Okay, let's get a few obvious ones out of the way first. Superman is one fast boy. Hailing from the DC universe of comic books, TV, and movies, the flying blue bullet can cover some serious ground. The Flash once said that Superman was able to move at 2,000 miles per second, which is 7.2 million miles per hour, and Mach 9,350. This is within Earth's atmosphere, however, since in the vacuum of space, he can move faster than the speed of light, which could be a formidable foe for a little blue bowling ball, and especially if it was in space, but if that was the case, Sonic wouldn't be able to run technically, so there would be no point. This isn't a versus video, so I won't really dive into who would win, but feel free to debate it for yourself in the comments. I know in the comics they have Sonic run super fast, but also in the comics, Superman has starred in a porno directed by a supervillain named The Sleaze. So I'd just say focus on the games. Comics don't count on this channel. In at 9, Quicksilver. Perhaps a more formidable foe for a little blue boy here. The speedster of the Marvel Universe is a fair bit slower than Supes in all honesty, clocking in at around 4,939 kilometers per hour. So this could be a fair match for our blue boy, when according to the original game theory about Sonic's speed, he runs at a whopping 80 miles per hour at best. But that theory was later scrapped by the community and MatPat himself, so there's no need to actually base anything off of it. Being born with his ability since he's the son of Magneto, Quicksilver has been depicted in various different media, the X-Men movies and the MCU, but he has different origins in the MCU and also somehow can't catch bullets unless it's with his body. If Captain America's shield is made of vibranium, does that mean that Hawkeye's shield is made of Quicksilver? You're welcome, it's a totally 100% original joke. I totally did not just see it in a meme like 4 years ago and remember it until I had a reason to say it, I swear. And it ate Goku. Goku is basically a god, especially in his Super Saiyan mode which he will probably decimate Sonic with, but with all the Chaos Emeralds, the totally not a knockoff version of Super Saiyan Sonic may end up holding his own, unless he's like the store brand version of Super Saiyan, like the Great Value or Kirkland Signature version. Sounds like a Rhett and Link game. Can we tell what Super Saiyan modes are real and not from hell? I don't know what I'm saying. Tangent aside, Goku has essentially godlike abilities that Sonic may not be able to handle, but again, I employ you to debate it in the comics because I honestly don't know much about Dragon Ball. I think that Sonic would be screwed here, considering how Goku fought in a whole tournament wearing over 100 kilos of weighted clothing, only to take it off for the final round and be extremely fast and agile. I don't think Sonic could even lift 10 kilos, let alone 10 times that. So I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you Sonic stands may have more of an idea than I do, so go for it. Sound off. Yell at me. Whatever. And it's 7, The Flash. No name brand Blue's Clues has literally no way of beating The Flash, no matter what version of The Flash you look at, being the comic version who literally has harnessed the kinetic energy of everyone on Earth to beat instantaneous teleportation, the Smallville version that beat Clark in a race, or the CW version that has had his full potential unlocked during Hour 4 of the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. The connection that The Flash has with the Speed Force is what makes him unbeatable in a foot race, unless you're the villain for like the first three seasons of the show. Sonic has no connection to the Speed Force, therefore he would not be able to even lick it on his fastest day. Clark had to use a special suit in Smallville just to catch a glimpse of it, unless the Flash brought him in there, which could actually potentially improve Sonic's speed. Do you think that being brought into the Speed Force would improve Sonic's speed, or would it just remain the same? Let me know below because... I'm, I, I want to hear your opinion. And at 6, Tracer. This Overwatch hero specializes in speed. After an accident while piloting a fighter jet called the Slipstream, her molecules had become desynchronized with time. She would disappear for hours or days at a time, and this caused her to have weird dreams about her various pasts, including working as a kitchen maid, for some reason. After some tests, a scientist came up with the Chronal Accelerator, a device that is capable of anchoring Tracer in the present, but also allowing her to control her own time. She's able to speed it up or slow it down at will, meaning that she can just speed herself up and run as fast as she can. On August 16th, 2018, this channel uploaded a video called Sonic vs Tracer, where Kelly concluded that Tracer would win by using a magazine that stated Tracer would just shoot him. There you go. Thanks for doing my job, Kelly. Sorry I took your desk. In at 5-Par. 
Dash is the speedster of the Incredibles universe, often using his speed to play pranks on his teacher and somehow getting caught on camera doing it, meaning he may not be going as fast as Sonic. Dash's fastest speed can be seen when he was running on water, so maybe calculating that could help us get his top speed. When Barry Allen ran on water during the Flash TV series, they estimated he would have to run at at least 650 miles per hour. I'm using this because it's the only reference I have to how fast you would have to run to go on water. Grant Gustin weighs 165 pounds, so taking that ratio of 130 miles per hour for every 33 pounds you weigh, Dash would need to run 260 miles per hour to accommodate for his 60 pounds of human. So his top speed being around 260 miles doesn't even come close to the top speed of Sonic which is around 750 miles per hour. Look at me, getting my theorist cap on and probably making everyone hate me in the process. Go me. And then 4 bullet bill. The ultimate power for Mario Kart that is for some reason only available when we're in last place. They can't however show up when you're in any place but last longer the further back you are. The bullet bills in Mario Kart are hella huge and hella fast causing you to catch up with someone far ahead of you with only a matter of seconds. Bullet Bill in a Mario game may be different than the kart version, but damn does he move fast. Sonic Racing this thing would just be hella interesting, but in Team Sonic Racing, not on foot, because I had to find a way to fit in this game somewhere because we gotta love this amazing game, right? Right? Is it just me? I'm not hearing anyone commenting, so I'll just move on. Just race Bullet Bill, make me happy and I'll leave you alone, okay? Well, I will, but the channel won't, so I guess technically I won't. Sonic's probably filing a restraining order at this point. Sorry, man. And at 3, Detective Pikachu. Another video I did before I officially became a host was Sonic vs. Detective Pikachu. In the video, I was actually talking about if they truly fought. Sonic won, but only because Detective Pikachu doesn't have powers. But in a race, the outcome would probably be the same, considering how Pikachu wouldn't be able to use Quick Attack or Volt Tackle, meaning he would have to rely on his own speed, which won't come up anywhere close to Sonic's top speed of Mach 1. But there's always something to appreciate, like I would be faster running to see Detective Pikachu again than going to see the Sonic movie. Movie, that's for sure. But at least we're getting like a Smash Bros universe, so that should be interesting. It's not like confirmed officially, but it's confirmed in my mind. Do you guys need someone to play Master Hand because like I'm your guy, clearly, based on the awesome hand gestures I just did to prove to you that I was the right guy. I'm really running out of things to say at this point. And at 2, Speed Deoxys. Deoxys is one of the Pokemon that has multiple forms. Normal, Speed, Defense, and Attack. But what is this DNA test Pokemon able to do if it's not protecting or attacking? It's definitely not snacking, that's for sure. In its Speed form, Deoxys has a base speed stat of around 180, and when leveled up fully to level 100, its speed can range anywhere from 328 to 504. Now, there is no real world comparison to anything like this, so we could say that those numbers are miles per hour. Hour, meaning that Sonic would still be faster, but what if we can do one better? That's right, another knockoff mini game theory episode for you. Hello, internet. I feel like a Walmart at this point. Next thing you know, I'm gonna run into someone higher than the stratosphere at like 2 a.m. One of the most notoriously slow Pokemon, Slowpoke, whose name is literally short for Slow Pokemon, has a base speed stat of around 15. At level 100, this can range anywhere from 31 to 141. Now, can we really believe that no matter how trained this Pokemon got, he'd be able to keep up with cars on the highway. No way in hell the slowpoke is running 141 miles per hour, meaning that these numbers have to be faster than miles per hour, and Deoxys is even slower than we thought. Speed version, yeah sure bud. Finally, in at number 1, Goat Simulator Goat. This may not be particularly fast, but I think this would be more like a tortoise in the hare kind of situation. Sonic is cocky, we know that from his character and the first new trailer for the movie. So if he was racing just a goat, he would obviously wait at the finish line until he could see the goat coming up over the hill before he crossed the line. But the thing is, this isn't an ordinary goat. This is the greatest of all time goat, the goat goat. Sure Sonic won't take a nap and let the goat walk past him, but this goat has one hell of a tongue. Lucky tongue be damned, this sticky tongue is the way to go. Being able to hold onto cars and bicycles while they're on the move, this tongue has dealt with more crap than me in my final year of high school. The goat would just attach himself to Sonic while he runs, and as soon as Sonic stops to look for the goat, the goat will keep that momentum and fly across the finish line before Sonic even noticed. Too bad, so sad, sucking a lollipop. I would watch a good simulator movie. Something tells me that it would be so bad it's good, just like the game. There we have it friends, the top 10 characters Sonic needs to race. Is there anyone on this list that you would like to see? And who on this list would you like to see Sonic race? Let me know below and on your way down whether it's to answer my question or yell at me. Be sure you hit like and subscribe for daily gaming content and ring that bell to join the clan and level up. Thank you all so much for watching, I have been in Shower Main Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.